So the specification of drainage channels in commercial kitchens um, can be neglected through a lack of clarity of whose package it falls into, um, but it can have a huge impact on the usability of the kitchen itself. Now, some pieces of cooking equipment require specifically sized drainage channels to capture water discharge from the equipment itself. Um, and a failure to specify the drainage correctly can mean that water pools on the kitchen floor becoming a hazard for users. So on screen, there's a picture of a tilting kettle, um, and this is used to make soups and sauces, um, obviously on a huge scale, and it's cleaned through that little tap. You can, might, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but there's a teeny tiny tap on the bottom there, um, and that's how the, how the unit gets cleaned. Now this tap and the swinging motion of the tilting kettle, the tilting motion of the tilting kettle, um, has a pore pattern. So where that water will kind of come out, um, and that indicates, um, uh, that will tell you where the drain needs to be specified um, or, or designed to be to capture all of that water uh, coming from that specific piece of equipment. Um, during design um, and then possibly again later on during, during construction of the DNC project, substituting linear drainage for point drainage um, is used often as a mechanism to reduce cost. Um, but making the decision to remove a, um, a linear channel from in front of a piece of equipment like this and substituting for a point drain can have a massive impact on the, um, on the functionality of the, of the kitchen area. So any substitution should be considered carefully. And if there's a kitchen consultant, then to chat to them too about what that impact can be. So beyond the suitability of the drainage element, um, manufacturers should be able to provide you with calculations that, that their drains can cope with the amount of wastewater that's being produced. So when you're designing, um, also be aware of any blockage factors that need to be considered. So fixed and removable strainers, plus any food scraps within those strainers, um, any internal foul air traps, and even grates can restrict the hydraulic capacity of the drain and, and should be taken into account. So keeping users safe um, is of course vital. Um, some drainage channels and grates can have sharp edges and corners, which can be hazardous to cleaning operators when they're cleaning out the drains. Um, all of the drainage components should be safe to handle and without any sharp edges. So within a commercial kitchen, some areas will be um, fairly exclusively used by servers and some um, exclusively used by chefs. And these two groups of people, their footwear is, is really different. Um, and so the great specification or the great selection in those areas should reflect this. So in serving areas, so think like front of house, once the food's been plated up by the chefs and it's being carried out into the, into the dining room, um, some waiters might wear some stiletto heels, which means that the grates at the front of the house probably should be heel safe. Now we classify grates as heel safe if the slot apertures are 10 millimeters or smaller. Um, now in the heart of the kitchen, where it's only really chefs that are using that area, um, grates with large apertures might be required to enable the food, uh, any food that falls um, onto the floor to fall into the grate rather than sitting on top and becoming a, food ha uh, a slip hazard in itself. Now, chefs are far more likely to wear flat, slip resistant footwear like Crocs, everybody's favorite shoe. Um, and so the grate apertures in these areas can be larger because their footwear is so different. Now, the aperture of the grate must also be considered um, if trolleys will travel over the top of the grate. So plate stackers are used a lot for functions to pre-plate like cold starters and desserts. Um, and they're stored in cool rooms on trolleys like this, um, ready for serving. Um, so in front of a cool room, what we don't want to have is um, large aperture grates where um, the wheels of these trolleys could get stuck uh, and the food go everywhere and um, suddenly you're in a, an emergency not having not being able to feed a few hundred people. So again, collaborating with the kitchen consultant and engaging with them on these types of issues will lead to a really good result for the end user. Um, slip resistance, um, this is a concern in any application, um, but its likelihood, um, the likelihood of a slip is amplified by the presence of grease and oil in commercial food preparation and processing applications.